Hello, my name is Krishna. I'm a product manager here at Anitsu. Today, I'll be demonstrating a new feature that was released as part of the latest Shopline software release called Simultaneous Sweep. Uh, this feature is particularly applicable for uh, the MS46131A series of VNAs. With the previous software versions, uh, users can connect up to four 131As uh, to a laptop, but they can only open in a single instance, meaning all four of them will have the same uh, configuration settings like start frequency, stop frequency, number of points, IF bandwidth, etc. There have, we have been receiving multiple requests from customers. Uh, uh, they would like the flexibility to configure each 131A independently and the simultaneous sweep feature was developed uh, in response to that need. One common application uh, where this uh, feature was uh, requested frequently was the multi-band antenna testing like where customers are testing different antenna modules like LTE, Wi-Fi, Sub-6, MMWave. They would like to assign each VNA to a particular antenna module and um, use that corresponding frequency settings and test them. This new feature now allows user, uh, gives a user two choices. One, they can uh, open all four in a single instance like before or launch each 131A independently, allowing independent configuration of each unit. In a simultaneous sweep mode, when each is open independently, the sweeps are also happening independently. And uh, we can use an external trigger to synchronize the sweeps so that all the sweeps on all four VNAs start at the same time. For this demo, I'm using four 131A modules that, are, that is connected to a USB hub uh, that is connected to my laptop. I'll show the demo on my laptop. For this demonstration purpose, I have four 131As connected to a USB hub that is connected to my laptop. Once I open the Shockline application, uh, this is the UI I see. I'm given two choices, the left one, where it says select select all below to open all devices in a single application instance. This is the option that is available in the previous software releases. The option on the right is the new simultaneous sweep feature. Also, there is a notes uh, at the bottom of each option saying the same, which, which does support uh, the simultaneous sweep and which does not. Now, just to show you how the previous uh, UI looks, I, I selected select all and click OK. Uh, the, the next it shows up uh, the four uh, VNAs and uh, we have to assign a unique port number for each of these uh, VNAs, port 1, 2, 3 and 4 and we need to assign a base unit. The base unit distributes the reference clock to other VNAs. Click OK. Uh, as you can see, all four VNAs with their serial numbers, we can see S11, S22, S33, S44, and all share the same configuration, like the same frequencies. If I change the number of points or the stop or stop frequency, all of them get uh, affected. Now let's go take a look at the simultaneous sweep. I'll select the right side option, the first VNA, and click OK. So port 1 uh, VNA is open. I'll open the second instance. So now you can see the first one, it says in use that uh, VNA and we have the remaining three. Also, if you notice the left option where you can open all VNAs in a single instance, this is gone. So once user enters into simultaneous sweep mode, the rest of the VNAs can only be opened in that mode. So I'll open the second VNA, click OK. Now I have the second VNA open as a separate instance. I have two Shopline UIs. 
Now similarly, I, I can open the third and fourth and configure each of them uh, separately, independently. I can change the settings as, ne as needed. And uh, also if you notice, the sweeps are also independent. So if I change the number of points, So one, uh, as I was mentioning before, we can synchronize the sweep so that they can start at the same time by using an external trigger. Now the setting for that is if you go to sweep, trigger, the trigger source instead of internal, we choose external. Now there is, a, at the back of the VNA, there is a trig port that can act as both a trigger in and a trigger out. Now, if I choose a trigger out is off, that may essentially it's, it's acting as a trigger input. We can uh, use the external trigger and plug into that port, um, which you can see it on the screen, the port, how the port looks like. You can plug it into that port and uh, uh, trigger the sweep based on the trig signal. Now, we can split that signal across different VNAs by connecting the same uh, trigger source uh, to the back of all VNAs so that all VNAs can sweep in sync. Uh, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope uh, this video was informational. Thank you.